This video will cover the procedures required by Usher Transport for pumping product as well as preparation and cleanup. Usher Transport Maintenance provides excellent service to our drivers, but we all need to be vigilant and double check maintained supplies. Before making any delivery, a few things need to be checked. The most important check is to verify that the load you are carrying is the correct product. Collect your bill of lading and your weigh bill, and then verify by the weigh bill and the bill of lading that you are carrying the correct product for the delivery. Hoses are maintained and inspected by the maintenance garage, but you will need to check the inspection tag on the hoses to verify that it is current and that you have the correct hoses for the product you will be delivering. Ensure your hoses are pressure rated. Check all of your hose tags. Locate the hydro pack and ensure the hydro pack has fluid and is at the correct level. Check the trailer connection and that all hoses and connectors are secure. Check that all your lights and indicators are in good working order. Turn on your headlights and your hazard lights. Walk around the truck and verify that all lights are working. You will need to check that the tires and brakes are in good shape. Using a hammer, strike the tires and ensure good inflation. Visually inspect your brakes. Do this for all tires and brakes. Ensure you have all the accessories and tools you will need for the job. A drip pan and bucket, absorbent towels, a set of Velcro security straps, and hose couplers. When operating for Usher Transport, always practice company procedures outlined in the company's driver's handbook. When you arrive at the customer's site, pull as close to the offload tank or tank fittings as possible. Put the truck into neutral and set the parking brake. Turn on the hazard signals and shut down the engine. Identify the offload tank or tanks and ensure capacity for the load. Verify this information with the customer and have them sign the way bill, indicating they approve the hookup. Place the paperwork in the truck for safekeeping. You will need the way bill later. Gather all the necessary tools you will need for the job. Pull the hoses from the trailer storage tubes and lay out the hoses you will need. In most cases, you will need two hoses from the compartment outlet to the pump inlet, and one hose from the pump discharge to the storage tank. Collect your tools and place the oil drip pan under the pump outlet. Place the drip bucket under the compartment outlet. The trailer must be properly vented for the product to flow correctly. Open the vent tube at the rear of the trailer. If you are pumping from a multi-compartment trailer, always connect and offload from the front to rear. Pull up on the loading head's brake interlock to set the trailer brake and gain access to the compartment outlets. Before removing the compartment outlet cap, ensure the compartment valve is in the off position. Remove the outlet cap and allow any product to drip into the drip bucket. Remove the end cap from the hose that will connect to the compartment outlet. Hold your thumb over the cap and slowly release the hose cam lock ears. You will hear pressure being released. When the cap is removed, ensure there is a rubber gasket inside the hose coupling and that it is in good shape. 
Connect the hose to the compartment outlet. Verify that you have a secure connection. Install a Velcro safety strap around the hose cam lock ears. If two hoses are being used to connect the compartment outlet to the pump inlet, use the hose coupler to connect the hoses. Never let an open end of a hose be on the ground, as debris or other foreign objects could enter into the hose, or product could drip onto the ground. Remove the end caps from each hose, and lay the open ends on the caps. Connect the coupler to the two open ends and ensure a good connection. Ensure the lid is removed from the drip pan. Remove the pump inlet cap and remove the cap from the end of the hose that will connect to the pump inlet. Connect this end of the hose to the pump inlet and verify a secure connection. Remove the cap from the pump discharge and then remove the end cap from the hose. The hose could be pressurized, so use caution. Connect the hose to the pump discharge and ensure a good connection. Place Velcro safety straps around the connections. If the customer hasn't done so, place a drip bucket under the tank inlet and remove the tank inlet cap. Remove the end cap from the end of the hose that connects to the storage tank. and connect the hose to the tank. Verify a secure connection. Place a Velcro safety strap around the connection. Now that all of our connections have been made, the engine can be started. While sitting in the cab, press on the foot brake and start the engine. Depending on the truck, set the PTO switch to in. You will hear the engine idle increase. Exit the truck cab and ensure the hydro pack is operating. The fan will be turning. On the jack box, open the internal valve and pump the jack box to charge the line. If multi-compartment, pull the appropriate internal safety valve lever. Before engaging the pump, open the compartment outlet valve. And then open the valve on the storage tank. Identify the pump and gauge lever and pull forward all the way and set the pump speed control to fast, except for special applications. Walk around to all of your connections, ensure there are no leaks. Place your hand over the rear vent and verify there is suction. You are now pumping product. This could take some time. Keep an eye on the process throughout. Inspect and verify that all connections are secure and that there are no leaks. The best way to know if the pumping is complete is when you hear the pump start to surge and the hose starts to rise. At this point, you will close the compartment outlet valve. With the pump still running, remove the Velcro security strap from the compartment outlet connection. Remove the hose from the compartment outlet. Take care not to spill any product left in the outlet. Hold the opening of the hose under the outlet and open the outlet valve slowly to ensure all product has been discharged. Ensure you place the valve back in the off position. Place the cap back on the compartment outlet and verify it is secure. With the pump still running, lift the end of the hose from the compartment outlet and roll the hose to drain any product left in the hose towards the pump. 
Roll the hose backwards to the rear of the trailer and hang the hose at a height off the ground to continue gravity draining the hose. Never place an open hose end on the ground. Lift the hose from the pump discharge to help drain product from the pump to the storage tank. Set the pump speed control to low and disengage the pump with the lever at the pump head. Immediately go to the storage tank and close the storage tank valve. Place the cat back on the vent tube at the rear of the trailer. Verify it is secure. Close the internal safety valve at the jack box or, if multi-compartment, close the internal safety valve lever. Cap the end of the compartment outlet hose. Disconnect any couplers on the hoses and ensure you have a drip bucket under the connection to collect any product that could spill out. As you remove each hose from the coupler, place the hose end cap on each open end to prevent dripping. Remove the coupler and drop into the bucket. Place an end cap on the remaining hose. Remove the Velcro safety straps from the pump connections. Remove the hoses from the pump, capping each as they are removed. Remove the pump inlet first. Take care that product drips into the drip pan. Place the cap on the pump inlet. Remove the hose from the pump discharge. Place and secure the cap. Place the end cap on the hose. Remove the Velcro safety strap from the tank connection. And disconnect the hose from the storage tank. Cap the end of the hose. In the cab, press the brake and set the PTO switch to out. The engine idle will drop. Gather all of the hoses and secure them in the storage tubes. Store your drip pan and bucket in the appropriate storage compartment. If there is no lid for the bucket, place absorbent towels in the bucket to cover any product. Clean up any spills or other debris left by the process. When finished, verify that the customer is satisfied. Have them sign the way bill, then thank the customer and shake their hand and wish them a wonderful day.